This is an ABC News special report. Now reporting, David Muir. Good afternoon. We're coming on the air a little bit earlier than normal for the sixth hostage release in this temporary ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. And this is significant. You're looking at the images coming in now. One of the hostages released, her name is Liat Bainan, 49 years old. She's a dual citizen, a U.S. citizen as well. Her parents uh, live in Philly and New York. Connections back here in the Northeast, here at home. Uh, the Israeli military tonight saying 16 hostages, including this American, were being held in Gaza, now in the care of the International Red Cross. In exchange, Israel tonight releasing more Palestinian prisoners. Before today's release, Israel had said 161 hostages were still being held in Gaza, and the White House believed up to nine Americans were among them. That's what the FBI has been saying. With this new group, Hamas has now released 102 hostages in return at least 210 Palestinians have now been freed from Israeli prisons. I want to bring in Matt Gutman live again tonight in Israel for us with late reporting. Matt, what have you learned? We learned that Liab Bainan is out there now in Egypt. I can, think you can see those videos. There's a row of ambulances. They're being transferred th from the Red Cross vehicles, which they were loaded into by Hamas, taken across the border to Egypt. Now they're going into a van. And from there, they'll be transferred to the Karim Shalom crossing right across the border with Israel. Then they'll be given a medical check and handed a phone. And that's, David, when they'll be able to talk to their loved ones for the first time. All of them will then be flown to a hospital here in Israel. Now, we mentioned uh, Liat Bainan. She is now the second American to be released. The first one was that four-year-old Abigail Idan. There are still seven Americans believed to be held. Actually, eight Americans believed to be held in Gaza. One of them is a woman who is 72 years old. Uh, she is eligible current to, according to the current framework of this agreement that these hostage releases have been um, happening under. Uh, she is eligible to be released but has not been released. And the biggest question going forward, David, is this is the sixth of six hostage releases. Israel along with Qatar, Egypt, the U.S., and Hamas on the other side, are still working on extending it. It's unclear if it will be extended and what will happen to the other 100-plus hostages who remain in Gaza right now, David. We know that Liat Bainan, Matt, was a mother of three. She worked as a teacher, as a tour guide at times. We know her husband was also uh, kidnapped uh, by Hamas. She's 49 years old. Again, U.S. citizen tonight released as part of this latest group of hostages. She has connections back here in the U.S. to Philadelphia and New York City. And Matt, again, one of the outstanding questions is of the remaining U.S. citizens being held captive in Gaza do we know for sure where they are and who, in fact, is actually holding them? I think this is one of the biggest concerns from the White House and on the Israeli side as well. Most of these are dual nationals, and they don't have a lot of visibility into where they are being held or who is holding them. There has not been a lot of sign of life from any of those hostages. In fact, the only time that their families and Israel and the U.S. hear whether they are alive or not is when they, Hamas puts them on those lists the night before they are set to be released. So there is not a lot of visibility, despite the fact that there is a tremendous amount of intel being focused on Gaza. Uh, we're talking about air, air assets, um, SIGINT. Um, they're trying to interrogate some of the Hamas militants that Israel has captured. They're trying to question them what they know about the hostages. But right now, from what we understand and from speaking to uh, U.S. officials, Israeli officials, and the families of the hostages themselves, they don't know a lot. And that is one of the greatest causes of concern, that sort of black hole of information about where they are and what their condition is, David. And just to be clear, with a few moments left here, Matt, we know uh, she has been released. Uh, her husband's still in captivity? That's right. Uh, Aviv, her husband, was wounded on October 7th. He was part of that security team that tried to defend their kibbutz of near Oz. He was taken captive. We don't know where he is or what his condition is. His blood was found uh, near where they believe he was taken. The family obviously massively concerned about his well-being. And just before we came on air, David, I spoke with um, Liat's father and her sister, and they say 
they're so happy to be able to get Liat back. But right now, their focus is now getting her husband back and the rest of the hostages. And that's pretty much the tenor here in Israel. They want everybody back and they want to put as much pressure on the Israeli government and international uh, governments in general to try to get all of those hostages released as soon as possible, David. Matt Gutman standing by with late reporting. Matt, I know you'll have a full report coming up shortly on World News Tonight. In the meantime, one more question for Selena Wang, who is standing by at the White House for us. And Selena, I know that you asked in the last 24 hours of White House officials if they believed that these U.S. citizens, these Americans who are being held captive, still several of them uh, in the hands, it's believed, of Hamas or perhaps other terrorist groups, if they were being used as negotiating tools, a White House official saying they don't believe that's the case. Exactly, David. They say they do not believe that these Americans are being used by specific leverage by Hamas. And now with the release of Liat Baini, this means that there is potentially one additional American woman unaccounted for and U.S. officials believe seven American men unaccounted for. But as you were just saying, David, White House officials have been stressing to me that they do not know where these Americans are, what their conditions are. They do not have proof of life. They do not know if they're being held by Hamas or by other groups. U.S. officials, they also say they are working hour by hour with partners in the region to try and get this pause extended until all of the hostages are released. The president intensely focused on this. Selena Wang live at the White House for us. Selena, my thanks to you as well. Again, the breaking news at this hour, the Israeli military says 16 hostages have now been released as this ceasefire continues, though it's in its waning minutes here. And large questions remain about whether there'll be an extension or an additional ceasefire at some point. And among the 16 hostages released today, we learned a woman with dual citizenship, a U.S. citizen as well. She has connections to Philadelphia, New York. Uh, she is a mother of three, and she has been released. Her husband, they still have unanswered questions about whether he's in captivity and where. Our coverage will continue on ABC News Live and abcnews.com. I'll see you shortly for World News Tonight. In the meantime, for many of you in the East, your local news standing by. I'm David Muir in New York. I'll see you for World News Tonight. This has been a special report from ABC News.